Today I will be talking about a Western Electric 416 Comkey 1A2 style key telephone system. The 416 will only work with other 416 type telephone sets. The phone on the most left hand side is configured to make lines 1 and 2 operate. The phone that is directly to the right of the touchtone phone is configured to make lines 3 and 4 operate. Both of these primary telephone sets can be configured to operate 1 and 2 or 3 and 4. It does not matter as long as one is set one way and the other one is set a different way. Generally, you would always have all rotary or all touchtone, but in my little museum thing here, I've got one of each. The phone on the extreme right-hand side is just a, a satellite set, and you can have on this system a total of 10 phones with individual intercom signaling. Now, you can add more than 10 phones, but you will not be able to have uh, direct intercom selection for the 11th, 12th, and so forth. Also, the system is power limited because it was only designed to have around 10 to 12 phones on it. The phone that's on the left side is an HAFI. stands for Hands-Free Answer Back on Intercom. This phone um, is kind of like an intercom speaker phone. You cannot talk to anybody on an outside CO line through uh, the intercom speakerphone arrangement. It's only for internal operation. So you, of course, have the four lines, and if it was equipped, you'd have the fifth line private line unit. Associated with that HAF iPhone, I have a Touchomatic 32, which is on the right-hand side. That particular Touchomatic 32 had the correct plug to plug in to the uh, HAFI phone. Here is the ComKey phone that is an actual 4A speaker phone built in to the key set. And this particular set I have wired the private line kit to. So this has lines 1, 2, 3, 4, and then the fifth line is the private line. For my museum demonstration, I only wired three telephone lines plus the fifth line. That is the fifth line, and it only appears on this phone. Line 1, 2, 3, and then release. This is, of course, a rotary dial phone and the rotary phones are more difficult to acquire. This was a brand new old stock that I purchased off eBay and it is missing the faceplate. One of the issues with ComKey telephones is they were not shipped with the faceplates. There was a multitude of colors of faceplates that the customer could choose from and they were supplied at that point of installation. So I am in the market for a rotary dial 416 speakerphone faceplate. Here's the wall mount 416 wall phone. The wall mount kits were fairly difficult to acquire and fortunately I was able to acquire one. To program the phones to ring, you remove the little flop cover or unlatch it on the right side and there are five switch settings. Two switches vertically on the left and two switches vertically on the right. This phone is set not to ring on an incoming call. If I wanted it to make an audible noise I would slide one of the four switches up and then it would ring on that line. If I wanted it to ring on all four lines, I would move all four switches in the up position. In the middle is a slide switch, and this is where you set the intercom extension. You have zero through nine. Each phone has to be set for its exact intercom number. You can set these to off 
so they don't have an intercom number. And if you were to add the 11th or 12th phone to the system, generally that's what you would do. However, you can set two or three phones to the same intercom number. And if they're in an open room where you're trying to use it as a paging system instead of having the external paging, then that would also work. This is a shot of the two primary sets and the two satellite sets, one rotary, one tone. I was fortunate enough to acquire the music on hold modules to put into the two primary sets. The 416 system was designed to have external paging, which I have not yet acquired all of those components, as well as power failure transfer ringing, where in the power failed they just forwarded the call through a relay to make the ringer ring wherever it was mounted. And then they had uh, another module so you could have a paging speaker specifically assigned to one phone as well as all call. The system was a pretty decent system for what was called a square configuration where all phones had access to all lines with the exception of the fifth line unit. That was, if used, was on a per phone basis or it could be shared amongst other phones. The nice thing about the 416 system, other than the two CO line connecting blocks, and I will show those in a moment, the system was intended to use bridging adapters so you could have multiple phones on one 25 pair cable if you had enough of the CPC bridging adapters. Um, these were installed in very much different configurations depending on the location and the installer. Here's the music on hold module that plugs into the 416 primary set. Here is the fifth line unit or the private line unit. This one I have only one single phone connected to. The unit also had the ability to have a music on hold module put into it, but I only had two of those. Over here on the center of the screen are the two connecting blocks that the primary telephone sets connect to. And then the telephone lines wire to these two blocks. And then there are cables that go off to the other phones. I have run out of space on my main IDF frame for cables. So I built a miniature IDF frame and it's under the shelf where the com key phones are at and it very much sucks to work on it. The connecting block on the right side is where the 416 com key connects. The block on the left side is a feed for all of the phones on this frame. Here is the finished product with all of the covers on. 